All right, there. You're live. All right. What is this thing? This is a 2004 Duramax LB7 Duramax diesel. I got it for 6,500 because it didn't have. Yeah, 6,500 miles on it. 6,500 dollars. Oh. Is that a good price? It was. Well. It is a Chevy, so I'm not sure. <laughs> so I had to put a new, uh, put new injectors in it, and then I put a new uh, injector pump in it. What kind of motor is this? It's the LB7. Is it a diesel? D6 6.6. Okay. It had some, uh, it actually had a lot of upgrades to it already, so it was, it's a pretty, uh, pretty badass. Is this engine. an upgrade? Mm, yeah, I upgraded that. That's cool. Put new hoses in it, cleaned up hoses. How about this stuff over here? Did you put this stuff in there? I put your, so I put transmission and uh, new oil in it. So, here's how good of, it is. Kind of updated my. Uh, there, there's your diesel oil. So, a Trabadini is the one in the grill right here. Okay. So, it's high load. What'd you have in there before? Just standard crap oil. Rotella? Oh, no. Pin grade? That's, grade? that's these low ones over here. Yeah. All right, okay. continue. I, I interrupted you there. You always interrupt me. Well, you know, that's how I it goes. Some new batteries. That's how it goes around here. But uh, that's ATF over there, and that's the motor. It scared the crap out of me when I was coming over the bridge yesterday. You got day. scared? Well, you're so in the military. I can be scared. I'm crossing Coronado Bridge and just put the oil in it, and then uh, as yeah. I'm coming down, I'm like, yeah, I think I'll speed up some. And when I hit the, the throttle, it oil went goes so, down there. It went so fast, I was like, oh, it feels like it's uh, improved its performance as far as uh, response and everything. As soon as I just I, mean, I got a program and stuff in it, but uh, it runs nice. So it went over 70 miles an hour? 70? That's the low end. 70 is low end. 85 oh, okay. plus. In fact, I looked down, I'm like, oh. No. I thought Chevys were limited to 70 mile an hour max because the Fords go faster. See, they got Fords back there, they go faster. That's the one you guys worked on, right? That's the one you rebuilt. That's the one we did the motor on, yeah. He's got Travadine, not in that one he put in the other truck. Yeah. That's a different test. So it seems to be working pretty good. The mistake I made was I thought it was an empty one, so it was seven point something quarts for empty. Yeah. But it wasn't really empty. It wasn't? So I had that. So you put eight quarts in there and it was over full? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. That didn't work good. That didn't work good? No. So your first comment was the oil didn't work good? No, my first comment is don't oh. put too much in it. Oh, don't put too much in there. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty pretty freaking good setup. How big are these tires? Can take a picture. 30. It's lifted a little bit, it looks like. Yeah. How's the off-road go with those long like, sway bars like back? A drive, you you got ain't. those truck arms back there. Does that make it handle better? Like a four by four, but... Hey, it came this way, man. 6,500 had all these upgrades, had a lift on it, had big tires. All right. I mean, they put such big tires on it originally, had to cut away the damn... So what kind of mileage did you get before you put the good stuff in there? I was getting 16 and a half. Now I'm getting 17 and a half, 18. And I haven't made my trip to, uh, I still got to make a trip to LA and back. So you picked up one and a half miles per gallon? Yeah. And a 50 gallon tank, that's a lot. 360 a gallon. That's a lot of Is that cash money? That's lots of diesel gas. Actually, I buy it to need. So how much more power did you get? That's, it seemed like it. Definitely increased the torque on it. Definitely had a lot better torque on You get more tire smoke now with those racing tires back there? I leave smoke a lot. <laughs> that ain't black. I leave little puffs of black smoke as I go down the highway. Oh. Somebody gets out of my way. It's, it's kind of like an oversized Porsche. So how's the knocking in the motor? We typically knock. Is it quieter, the same? Well, it's about the same. About the same knocking? Typically. Sounds like a diesel? Sounds like a diesel. Sounds like it's about to throw a rod. Of course, it could be ready to throw a rod. Yeah, sure. it might. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> well, anyhow. Be like your Jeep. This is another piece of junk Fred bought to get back on the road. Kind of like the Jeep. You can show him a picture of the Jeep. You want to show him a picture of the Jeep transfer oh, I don't case? know. That's, that's top secret. That's a whole other thing. I didn't have the Tribadon in it. That's why I put You it. did put Tribadon in the Jeep. That's no, the problem. I didn't put it in the transfer case. I put uh, it in the transmission. Yeah, but you the, put the oil in the Jeep. Which oil did you put in the Jeep? 2050? Yeah. You put the Jeep oil in the Jeep? How'd the Jeep run after you put the Tribadon in there? It ran really good. 
fact, I it I ran so that good before. that it ran so good that uh, he had some issues with the uh, transfer case. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a new one over here for us. Somebody, don't let somebody, don't let people bar your stuff. What was that? Don't, don't let people bar your stuff. Oh, okay. So evidently, they can't the hear when things are about to break. When the extra power of the Trabadon kicked in, they did. How much faster are you going with the Jeep after the Well, so well, we're starting to have to look at the video. But what I did find out was the damn thing wouldn't take off from a stop very well before tripping, before this. And then next thing you know, it's actually breaking the wheels loose. And then it, shortly the thereafter, it broke the rear, uh, the and whole thing out. <laughs> You know, it, you know it was making a damn noise, right? It had to be making some kind of noise that, that we, somebody would go, hey, that's not yeah. right. Maybe we ought to look at it. So how much mileage did you pick up with the Jeep before you blew it up? I don't know, probably two or three miles a gallon on that one. It was just how much that, horsepower it, increase did you get? It was definitely a substantial increase in horsepower, especially getting up across the bridge and stuff like that. It could that. go up a hill now above 60? Yeah. yeah. There you go. You almost break 60. Almost break 60? That was before when you were breaking after. 55 when you could get couldn't get above 54 going up the bridge. So breaking 60 is a pretty good deal. Now that had that high performance <laughs> six owner in it. 4.0. How many miles were on it? 180. 180 thousand. So you got a worn out Jeep motor. Watch out when you put trouble on it. That might happen. Hey, you don't even tie that thing breaking the trouble on it. Too much torque. Yeah. Well, they didn't, you didn't put chop down inside of here, otherwise it would no. lift. See, that's the problem. So how's the training in this half you put the chop down in it? That's pretty good. Like I said, it freaking, it's smooth, man. I, when I just, I just lay down in the throttle and it, when it hits uh, whatever gear, third or fourth gear, gone. Picking up speed going down the highway. All right. So that's probably why your mileage is lower, you're driving a lot faster? Uh, that's probably, I probably would have improved the hell a lot more if I hadn't. So what size foot is that down there? It's a big one. That's a big foot. <laughs> Fly by wire and it's flying. Fly wire. All right. All right. So you gonna use it again? Yeah. All right. Put it in the bird, but I... So he's happy. There you go.